Hi, I'm Dave of Dave's Dynamic Tours of Israel, and we're here today at a place called Nebi Samuel. It's also called Kever Shuel Hanavi, and it's also called the Tomb of Samuel the Prophet. Three different ways of telling you that Shmuel, Samuel the Prophet, possibly is buried here. This is an important story. It's an important story not only biblically, but also about the history of Jerusalem. So let's come with me now and let's go explore. This is the story of the Battle of the Gilonites. And according to one of many Midrashim, the battle took place on a Friday. And as it happened, unfortunately, it seems the Israelites, when they Israel, were losing the battle. And the story is that Yeshua prayed to God and basically said, God, we can't lose this battle. And I know we're not going to lose the battle as long as we can still fight. The problem was that the sun was about to go down. And if the sun was going to go down, he felt that they wouldn't be able to win the battle. So he, gave, he made a famous prayer up to God in which he said, Shemesh Mikivon Dom, let the sun stay here. King Saul, the first king of Israel, who was from the area of Binyamin, and that's where his capital was. And by the way, who was it that appointed King Saul as king? Shmuel Hanavi, Samuel the prophet. So the stories in the Bible that we have from about Samuel the prophet actually start here in the area of Geba Binyamin. As a matter of fact, not only did Samuel anoint or appoint King Saul to be the first king, he was also the one who appoints King David as the second king of Israel. All of those stories took place somewhere in this area here. So we're about to go up the stairs to the top of this tremendous building that sits above the tomb of Samuel the prophet. It is a Turkish period built building. There's a mosque inside. It's a prayer area for Jews down in the Roman mosque. And actually, it's a Turkish building built adjacent to a Crusader church. Wow. Turkish building, Crusader church, Jewish prayer area. This is an amazing place. Let's go find out more. I'm standing at the top of the building at Mount Nebi Samuel. 2,470 feet above sea level. This is the highest mountain around Jerusalem. And you can see, well, and you can see why. When the Crusaders came here in 1099, they set up their camp, which is what is all around us, because from here they could see into Jerusalem. As a matter of fact, today, if you look closely, I can point towards the three towers. Do you know how we find where we are in Jerusalem? Well, we look to the east. And in the east, there are always three towers today. The towers of the Hebrew University, the towers of the Augusta Victoria Hospital, and a little bit more to the right, hard to see in the hay, put the tower on top of Mount of Olives. And during the Crusader period, when they were here, uh, they didn't even see those three towers. But from here on a clear day, just as in the Crusader time, see the dome of the Beit HaMikdash. There really is a lot more to tell you. The tomb of Samuel the prophet has history, archaeology, um, battle stories, historical periods, and much, much more. So if you really want to know and explore this site as it should be, then if you're in Israel, please join me on a staycation tour. And if not, I hope that when you're able to come, we will come here and explore together.